Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 13th episode of Mawaru Penguin Drum. And last episode was, it was something. We got this like story, I think it was marrying the three lambs or something. And it also had like uh, a tree in it and punishment and death and sadness and manipulating little black bunnies as well and uh, somehow i guess ties into Mo himari and she died again you know she died in episode one and she died then but like can we can we get her back i know kanba tried and it didn't seem to work but you know then you never know so but uh yeah that that was last episode we pretty much just had somebody just kind of show up near the end of the episode so i imagine he'll have something to contribute to the conversation you know talk about something so let's uh Let's jump on in and see exactly what uh, what comes of that. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. That's that line's been said enough where it could almost become a meme of the show. That is the mystery, isn't it? And that is a cheery note that we start the episode with. Like, they can't keep Himari dead, right? I mean, like, they, they can't. She's, she's too important. I mean, what are we fighting for if not for Himari, you know? So, there's got to be some hope potential there. Feels like we haven't seen Yuri for a while. I mean, it's really not that been that long, but like, she was a lot more relevant in the earlier episodes when she was, you know, headbutting with Ringo and stuff. But I think we're kind of past that point in the story, so. I miss, like, the picnic episode, you know, wasn't that fun? Well, yeah, this is pretty much where we left off. Oh, Ledger Q, you. Okay, it seems like he's trying to give us hope. There's a lot of kanji, good god. Okay. Really? Uh what what are we what what are we opening here? Another hat or or more apples? <laughs> right. Just I have never seen an apple carrier quite like that. Oh that was neat. <laughs> Is it apple juice? Does it heal Himari? Oh, can you do it too? The, the thingy? The rock and roll night thingy? I mean, probably not, but... The thank you? Are you here to help or just to make me feel worse? Uh... Can you be less vague and cryptic about it?
more flashback goodness. I mean, not exactly. <laughs> What's that look on Kamba's face? And Dapple's in it. This definitely, uh, yeah, not, not what he wanted to see. Because you know they're not here for anything good. Uh, that might be them, so could you wait outside for a minute as we close the door? Yeah, probably important. Yeah. Such a nice picture. Ah. This is not going to be a cheerful episode, is it? I mean, that's often the case. Thing number three really not doing all right. Of course it does. Just peddling drugs to these kids. I mean, he has gotten money before, but... Numbers really going up. Sanatoshi Sensei. So this is gonna make her better, right? That's more or less what he said. A little bit. You literally are children. <laughs> oh god, that actually really stung. Uh, from being reminded about that. Uh, what could have been. Uh. Uh, are we going to get some information from that phone? It's 
Never a good sign. It's on every channel, damn. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot for them to take in. Yeah, I noticed that quicker than you did. Which is sad. So many shoes. Really hard to read two sets of subs. Uh. Yeah, that's that's the parents on TV wanted. And I can only imagine what they'd be what they'd be feeling in that moment. Oh, that's good. But how long will it last this time? Uh. No, she wouldn't do such a thing. So is this a goddess over there with the magical apple juice syringe? Those bunnies just look so evil like that. Take forever to open that door. I hate it. The show definitely wants you to know what its theme is. Do I have to? Of course it was. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. That is, that is a surprise. Kaioru-kun, that... We had to move moving, read moving text. I get the impression this is somebody who likes to hear themselves talk. How much energy do you have, girl? Probably a good reason for that. Is someone hiding? Uh, that was actually kind of creepy. Uh, I got nothing. Yeah, of course you couldn't just give a straight answer. It's not your style to be helpful. Okay, that's a better answer. Testing fate, as it were. 
That's what I'm here for. I guess so. Yeah, Super Frog saves lives. Is the hat his lover? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, it makes me feel like I'm reading a visual novel when I hear I'm just like narrating a monologue like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally listening. That's kind of your role in the show. Both of you. So everything's fine for now, right? Himari's okay, we're, we're all good. Tokyo Sky Metro. I mean, it sounds cool. Seeing them in person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, what do you want about? Well, yeah, we know who that is then. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I thought that actually was fairly amusing. As Mario lays lifeless in bed. So yeah, obviously they're connected, yeah. Dayane. So does ne. Sasuga. How much time do we have left in the episode? Actually, more than I thought. So that's a yes. There are no coincidences, only fate. Yeah, I'm I'm with you there. Like I still still doesn't feel real to me that whole appearance thing. <laughs> uh, odd, odd choice of translation because there's plenty wrong with her. <laughs> I 
Uh, I wonder if you would be if you knew everything she's done. But uh, not to ruin the moment, just I. Some of the things he's been saying. I mean, it's been a very heavy episode, so. <sighs> Very dialogue heavy episode. <laughs> okay. It's quite a nice quite a nice text message. At the end of this show, the word fate's gonna be a trigger word for me. I just know it. Yeah, denial is going to be the first step, first stage. Yeah, the worst thing is they can't, they can't even, like, you know, talk to the parents about it, ask them what the deal is. Oh, is this a red? Registering of fates. I like it so far. <laughs> Gray Wednesday. I'll joke as this is this is actually quite a nice CD. And the apples. The frickin' apples. <laughs> Nothing in the world is true. I actually I was holding a sword at first. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, that was the thirteenth episode of Mawaru Penguin Drum. Uh, I knew it was not going to be a cheery episode. I knew it was going to be the opposite, and it definitely was. But uh, man, I don't even know what to really say about this episode, honestly. I mean, we recently got the bomb dropped on us that the parents were a part of that big incident, you know, and. Uh, you know, we have, <clears throat> we even got to see flashbacks of Kamba and Shoma learning, learning that. And, uh, of course, it's going to be a hard thing to accept, you know, kind of a life-ruining sort of revelation. And there's going to be denial and whatnot. And, like I said, not even, being, not even being able to talk to the parents about it makes it even worse. We just get it as, like, second-hand, second-hand information from, like, police or whatever. <clears throat> so that makes it especially hard to believe. Because from your perspective, all you know is your parents aren't around and then people are, like, blaming them for something that... They couldn't possibly do because of your parents, you know, you, you know them. Yeah, so, um, yeah, definitely absolutely horrible thing to, to deal with. And uh, But the uh, current time frame, we have a guy, Sa Sanayoshi or, or whatever. He shows up being such a weirdo. 
like very, you know, kind of like, I don't know the best way to describe it, pretentious for lack of a better word, you know, poetic, likes to hear himself talk, speaks more cryptically and vaguely than a, a real person would, you know, like th that's more or less my impression of him, the beginning impression of him. Just looking at him, he reminds me of uh, the show called what's, a Revolutionary Girl Lieutenant. I never watched it, but I know character designs and stuff. But uh, yeah, he shows up, and I guess he was promising to help Himari. Like, he had apples in these, like, special cases that are, like, look at they're supposed to hold something that's got to be kept at a cold temperature, but just, it's just apples. But he, like, whooshes it, and suddenly it's like a syringe of red liquid. I don't know exactly what the deal was, but he heavily implied it would make Kimari better. And he talks about compensation and stuff with uh, Kanba, but in the end, he he just, you know, give, I guess he gave her the injection without any, like, hard promises of for, anything, for Kanba to do anything, I uh, think. But we never actually saw Kimari, like, wake up or anything, so I, 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 I hope, I assume, we were able to fix her there. Like, uh, so there's so much in the episode, I'm not sure exactly what point in the episode that happened in but in the end he was you know even talking about how he how he how he helped them because uh what was the reason he gave wanted to test you basically wanted to test fate is how i is how i took it but, but he, he said a lot of stuff about you know a girl he met 16 years ago different views and all that there's, there's a lot to take in I don't remember everything everyone said in this episode. I, I couldn't possibly. But we kept talking about fate. Some people hate it, some people love it. You know, that's just how it is, I guess. But. Yeah, what more really to say about this episode? It's just. It was a hard episode to watch. <sighs> but, uh. Yeah, I really don't got much more to say on, say on it than that. But uh, yeah, hopefully things can be a bit more happy, positive next episode, especially if she does, if we did help Kimari there with the magical apple juice the stuff, you know. Uh, we also have, like, uh, uh, you know, not Natsume apparently knows Sanayoshi as well, you know. I think he says something about her paying something, but uh, I don't know. They didn't really clarify on that, but... <laughs> I did like how she was the one that called the thingy and just that was probably the only real comic relief in the episode. I mean I don't know how funny it was intended to be, but I I found it funny. But because it was the kind of episode that needed some comic relief and either way that that worked as that for me. Freaking not too many. Uh but yeah. We did get a little bit into, like, uh, Takumi, that's the name, right? The teacher, right? Because obviously he would, you know, have his own opinions about the parents' actions because it definitely had a very strong effect on his life, so if there was resentment or anything there, that would definitely make sense, but it didn't seem to really be too much the case there. Like, at the very least, he, just, he doesn't, he's not going to take it out on, like, you know, Kamba and Shoma, right? I, I, did, I didn't get that impression. And even before now, I never got the impression he had any sort of animosity towards them, really, so... It sh should be all good. But yeah, it was quite the episode. And uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.